Hello, 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 and welcome to Carlock Does Some Minecraft Science. Today we're doing beacons in the nether, so I'm starting off in the overworld. So here we have a single beacon and a quad beacon. As you see, the quad beacon isn't working because, like you would normally have in the nether, we've got a bunch of netherrack and then the bedrock ceiling. Now the beacon needs a direct line of sight to the sky, so if we remove the netherrack, we'll see despite there being bedrock, it still works because Minecraft doesn't care about bedrock in the way of beacon. So they will work in the nether just fine as long as the only block above them is bedrock or other transparent blocks that normally work okay, like glass and leaves and other things. Right, one of the major problems with the nether is the bedrock can be up to five deep and you can end up with a pesky netherrack in the middle of that bedrock which will block the beacon. So in order to get this beacon to work we don't need to remove the bedrock, we need to just remove the netherrack in the middle of the bedrock. So sometimes you can just dig up around where you want, get to the little bit of netherrack that's in there, knock it out and make it work. Sometimes you can't get to it because it's blocked in. For an example like this where we've got bedrock surrounding this piece of netherrack in there. So the way to get rid of that is with some TNT. Everyone loves that. Set fire to it, blow it up. And let's carefully just remove one bedrock. As you can see, the netherrack has been removed from in there. So the reason that works is we can blow up netherrack by diagonally blowing stuff up. So we have some TNT here, goes diagonally here, it should a single piece of TNT there destroy those three netherrack. So in order to get beacons working depending on where you happen to come up in the nether, sometimes we need TNT to clear out the netherrack. Now one diagonal is very easy, we can go two diagonal but it's not 100%. So yeah, it didn't work that time. Yeah, it worked that time. It seems to be about 30, 50%, something like that, chance of it blowing up. One thing to note on the double diagonal is if we have some blocks to the side as well. Put my bit of another round back. For some reason with these blocks to the side it prevents the diagonal going up to I don't know whether it's uh, I don't know. I've tried it many times, it just doesn't work. It needs to be empty to the right in this case. So, yeah, that doesn't work all the time, just works some of the time. But most of the time it's normally possible by carefully placing your TNT, destroying the netherrack that's stuck inside some of the bedrock by using the explosion through the diagonals. Obviously sometimes you can't really see inside the bedrock so you have to sort of guess where the netherrack might be and just plant explosives until you get it. Worst case scenario you have to move the beacon over a bit to somewhere where there isn't any netherrack buried. So right let's pop into the nether 
Right, so here we are in the nether, quite a long way down. Where are we? Well, up Here yeah, we've got just a mini beacon. As you see, it's not working. There's lots of netherrack above. So the safest way in survival, I always found, is we need to dig straight up. And place ladders and dig some more. So this will take a little while, so I'll be back when I've done it. So there we are, up to the top. Can't see a thing, let's move over to the side. And luckily, there was only bedrock above, so that worked very simply. The main reason of showing this is if you use ladders to pillar up, or use ladders to climb up rather than pillaring up, is if I come through into a lava pocket, then the lava would get stopped by the ladder, and then I could just place blocks or place ladders to keep it out of my way therefore not dying, which is always handy. Right, okay, I've set up a few beacons here. So this is to show you, hopefully I'll find one that's got some hidden netherrack. So you come along here, where you'd want your beacon beam to do, remove the netherrack you can see. Are they all gonna work? Oh, this one. Ah, ah, oh, there you are. There's a bit there. Oh, and typical, they all work first time without any TNT, maybe this one not. So this one, yeah, I can see. Where are you trying to be? Up here. So the beam is above this bit, so we've got Bedrock, bedrock, bedrock three. There'll be one of the tops that must be diagonally through there. So I want to get up to that diagonally. I need some TNT there. Now, can I get to this block? I want to be able to light it without dying. Oh, it's going to be a particularly tricky one. <clears throat> right, so I want to light that, but I ideally need a block beneath it. Let's see if it works without a block beneath it. Let's give me a self a little runaway bit. Whoa. Runaway set my safe would be nice. Now this will drop down. Ooh. Or could place a second TNT. Let's try one. It will drop and see what damage it does. I'm still trying to get into that one diagonally. Okay. Can I go oh if I place one there? It should go diagonally that way. Run away! Kabooey! And there you are. It's blown up that block that was diagonally in there and this beacon is now lit. So yes, beacons work fine in the nether. You just need direct access from the beam straight up to bedrock and bedrock only and sometimes you need TNT to get rid of the nether axis in between the bedrock. It is possible I think to find a piece that you just can't get to um, but I've pretty much found I've always been able to put a beacon up. Oh I can't 
fly them in the wrong mode. Right, so it's just to show you that we have one, two, three, four, five, up to five layers of bedrock up here. And uh, we'll just show how deep it is. And also you can see the beams now coming through the bedrock, going all the way up to the limit. Over here is just a quick demo to show you can put beacons on top of the nether roof. One thing you have to be careful of is if you're building up above the nether, if you place a solid block in the way of a beam, it will break the beacon. So, I think that's about it really. It's pretty simple. Normal beacon rules apply. Just remember, you need a clear line of sight from the beacon to the top of the world. Bedrock's fine. TNT is always fun and useful to removing that pesky nether rack when it's stuck in between the bedrock. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and if you really liked it, follow. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you.